So welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're taking a look at Polkadot. So this is one of the ecosystems I have high hopes for going into the next bull run. And I think there'll be a lot of opportunities to accumulate through a long distribution phase here as we have a bit of a down period in the market. So one of the areas I do want to focus some content on is Polkadot, among others. But this is one of the early runners that I see uh, as having a huge potential for the future. So we're going to dive into some Polkadot-based content over the coming months. Uh, probably do a monthly update video on some of the parachain favorites that I have and then look at some generalized polka dot information as well. There'll be other protocols we look into on top of this, but that's just a bit of a flavor of some of the initial thoughts I've got here going into the next cycle. So just starting here with the total crypto market cap, if we look back to the bubble back in 2017, 2018, we hit at around 850, I think it was, billion in total crypto market cap back then. That was the peak of that cycle. Then we had a nice drawdown, went to around 100 billion dollars. So 850 billion, all the way down to 100 billion. And then we had this kind of period throughout early 2020 or mid 2020, when the total crypto market cap was around 300 billion dollars. And then over the preceding two years, then we've gone from 300 billion all the way up to a peak just over 3 trillion. So a 10x on the total crypto market cap. And now, as you can see, things are starting to come down quite considerably. And we're currently around 1.3 trillion. But my kind of expectation is that maybe we erase all of the gains that we've seen from uh, the majority of the bull market starting in around January of 2021. The bull market did start back here early, uh, around mid-2020. Uh, we had, of course, the, the halving back here in May. Um, but I do think we'll erase a lot of this uh, market cap as a lot of froth leaves the sector. We'll have projects that do unfortunately die out and can't sustain business throughout a long, prolonged bear market period. So my kind of target uh, to really start accumulating coins again is around that one trillion or below. I think we will get below a one trillion total crypto market cap. So that's just one of the mental models I'm working with here. And we saw this pretty much last time where you know, prior to the run up, it was like 100 bill back here, went up to 850 and then returned to 100. So you kind of just erase and reset. So that's one thing that I have noticed is a little bit, you know, a somber, a sombering thought there. But um, most of those games probably do get erased, uh, but play the game better next time. So Polkadot here with some updates. So they've had a few things um, changed recently. So these are major network upgrades. Um, so bring your attention to this. So after passing community vote V0.9.19, so this is now enacted on Polkadot 4. So uh, previously these things would have been tested out on Kusama, but now on Polkadot. So this upgrade included a batch calling upgrade uh, that Polkadot's runtime to enable parachain to parachain messaging over XCM. So XCM cross-chain messaging is now going to be alive on Polkadot 4. This is going to open up a world of new possibilities where these different chains can all pass data and tokens across one another, which is just yeah, a huge number of use cases are possible with this. And secondly, here we have State Mint. This is one of the common good parachains. So we just go on to the common good parachains here. Um, what, what are they? Essentially, these are ones that are for the common good. Pretty much does as it says on the tin, but State Mint is a public utility chain in that it adds functionality not available in the relay chain, namely the creation and management of assets. So this will allow for the creation of both fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. If you want to look for similarities, it would be like having the production of ERC-20 tokens and ERC-721 NFTs as well. But this will be done on this common good parachain. So this is going to take a lot of costs out of those kind of things. And it's just done on the base level here with this common good parachain. So it's a pretty neat upgrade um, and something that's going to just empower the whole overall ecosystem. What I like about Polkadot is the fact that this whole overarching ecosystem is all about cohesiveness between the various parachains that are on Polkadot. So uh, big hopes for this. If we just go down here to talk about XCM a little bit more. So this is Polkadot's XCM format means the network's objective to be a fully interoperable multi-chain ecosystem has been fulfilled. So of course this is early days, but this technology has now gone live. So cross-chain messaging allows communication not just between the parachains themselves, but also smart contracts, dApps, and substrate 
pallets. So this is rather big news. Now, two of the pioneers behind this, or two of the early adopted chains, are both Moonbeam and Akala. So the first assets that are going to be able to move between Akala and Moonbeam are going to be AUST, which is the Akala UST stablecoin. It is an over-collateralized stablecoin, by the way, and also the Akala token ACA. Glimmer token here will be movable in the next coming weeks. They're still figuring out some tweaks. But you can just imagine the movement, the free movement of these tokens between these different chains on Polkadot without the need for you know bridges. We've seen many bridge hacks and issues around that on other chains. This is being solved at the base layer here with Polkadot. So this is a, a real technological upgrade and something that is very big. Now, the three tokens we're going to briefly look at here are Moonbeam, A-Star, and Akala. So Moonbeam is currently at around $1.38. We just go down to a chart here you can see we had a sell-off if we remember back it went sub two dollars there was a wick definitely below two dollars um when there was a huge token release around the end of february there's a massive token release i can't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head right now but it was the take flight participants who got like 10 percent of a token supply or something so there's a big sell-off i uh, filled some had some stink bids set they did not get filled but I'm now getting very close to getting a fill around $1 region. So I think at around a buck for this token is going to be a very nice buying point for the long term future. So this is somewhere I want to start accumulating these tokens around a dollar or sub $1 would be very, very nice. This is a layer one blockchain, uh, EVM compatibility, real good team behind it. Current market cap, just 375 million. If you think back to some of the other layer ones out there still with multiple billion dollar market caps, uh, but they're not Polkadot. So the likes of maybe Nia protocol going into the future, Harmony One, where are these blockchains going to be in three, four, five years time? Polkadot built out by Gavin Wood, one of the co-creators of the Ether of Ethereum. So I'm very bullish on Polkadot generally, but I think these layer ones being built out of here are going to be super valuable in the future. You can see there's quite a lot of inflation to come for Moonbeam, and this is why the token price is likely to go down. You've got people who participated in pre-sales, in the parachain auctions, the crowd loans, and thus there will be constant emissions of these tokens. So I think there's going to be some brilliant opportunities to accumulate these tokens going into the next bull run. So uh, these are going to be on steep discounts. You know, this, there, there are nice price levels right now, but I think we can get even lower. Here is Moonbeam actually celebrating that Akala and themselves launching the first Polkadot cross-chain connection there through XCM. So if you want to take a read of that, I'll leave that in the show notes down below. But really interesting to see the tech behind this network getting major, major upgrades here. Second up, then we have ASTAR. I actually bought some of these tokens about a month ago, I think it was. Bought way too early. So it's time to look at, you know, some stink bids again down to around seven cents it's been as low as six cents we're looking at maybe 50 percent of total total tokens in circulation there and the market cap again this is a layer one evm compatibility as well 230 million dollars only if we just scroll down to the chart here this is on max um, so it was bobbling around 10 cents odd we had a bit of a pump up here uh, all the way to 30 cents that would be a nice time to get out and then we buy cheaper we're now down to around six seven cents at the lows there, just below six cents. Again, there's going to be token inflation, people getting their rewards. And, you know, with all these tokens, the fact they've been born into a very bearish market, and they haven't had a full run up. Uh, the people who are going to be holding these tokens, I guess, are going to be maybe polka dot believers, which is a good thing. We haven't really got salty bag holders on these tokens as of yet. So um, I do feel like the accumulation phase for these tokens in particular is going to be very profitable in the future and then finally here we have akala currently around 50 cents around 40 percent of tokens currently circulating this is the lowest market cap of all three it's not a layer one but this is kind of a DeFi chain and the home of a ust the akala ust stablecoin usd sorry the akala usd stablecoin which is an over collateralized stablecoin you can see after this big dump down here we went to like around 40 cents so um there could still be some better buying opportunities it was as high as two upon release now down to around 40 50 cents i do again think that this one will go 
lower with some time here and there'll be some good opportunities to maybe DCA into this one. My favoritism currently towards Moonbeam and A-Star, those are the ones that I kind of prefer. I think the use case of layer one chains themselves, uh, all the different things that can be built on top of them, I think they could be very powerful. So I will continue to keep tabs on the color lap, but I do favor Moonbeam and A-Star at this time. So those are some of the Polkadot based chains to really keep an eye upon. Uh, someone tweeted this to Gavin Wood just the other day. Will Polkadot eventually surpass Ethereum? And then Gavin replies cheekily, in terms of tech, it already did. And then this is quite funny down here. Uh, Jay Wu down here, please level up the usability. Yep, the wallets, the Polkadot.js wallet is super unfriendly. I think there's going to be some things that really need to be built out to make improvements to Polkadot so that normies can get involved with this ecosystem easily it is not user friendly at this point but these are the kind of things they have time now to work on so a little bit of an update here on the polka dot ecosystem let's pull this back and just have a little look at the dot token as well whilst we're here so here's the polka dot chart currently around 10 bucks only we went to those heavy heights of around 50 bucks back in the back in the last year and now down to around $10. So this kind of paints a picture of what you need to do during a bull market, sell your coins and then buy back in a bear. No matter how much you believe in any coins, it's pretty obvious that you need to sell and then you can buy back at steep discounts when we have the bubble burst, which seems to happen time and time again. So major lessons learned for the future. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Give us a little bit of a dopamine hit, subscribe to the channel guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.